Hey guys, thank you for joining us again at Car System Installation. Today I'm going to show you how to find an accessory wire or ignition wire for a Tesla Model 3 2019. So we have installed here a dash camera and uh, we were looking for accessory wire because this kind of dash camera that requires the accessory to turn off and go to parking mode. And we've checked some videos online and everybody were recommending going this corner above the driver's side kick panel trying to find some hidden connector that you can barely access and barely reach. So we've decided that we want to find a better one. So we went into the passenger side kick panel and we've seen a large wiring harness in here and we have tested the, the wires uh, to see which one will give us the best results. Uh, obviously, if you not, don't feel comfortable doing something like that, I would recommend to find yourself a, a professional technician to do the job. So as you can see, we connected to one of the wires there and we currently have a zero volt on the system. Now, this wire, what's good about it, it actually doesn't turn on with the rest of accessories. It only turns on when you have a driver in the driver's seat and basically the driver press the brake. Pretty much the same as in regular vehicles that uh, if you turn the ignition to on when a driver sits, that's the accessory. So now we're going to have one of our technician who will sit down on the driver's side. Okay, and as soon as you press the brake, we're going to have a full 13 volt and up 4 hour dash camera. We're going to have the driver go out, and this will go down. It will not go down completely to zero. It takes time until this one becomes completely zero, but this is pretty much the best accessory you're going to have in here, which is a very easy access. And I do recommend to use a relay for the connection. So as you can see here, we have used a relay, which means this accessory only triggers our relay and the power comes directly from the battery outside. Uh, we ran the wire for the battery directly to make sure we have a constant powerful 12 volt and we don't interfere with any other electronics in the vehicle. Uh, the system also has its own fuse, so it's protected and that way you get the accessory and everything. So again, I would recommend to use a relay. So to find an accessory wire in the harnesses in here with a proper multimeter, make sure that you test with nobody's in the driver's side. You're gonna find one wire that is off. Uh, it's gonna be a red wire. You have somebody sitting in the driver's side, press the brake and you should be able to get a 12 volt. For more videos of how to, you can always subscribe to our channel and see more of our videos. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.